A very good evening. You're watching Your Taxes only on NDTV Profit. Of course, over the next 10 minutes, we will take up all your tax expectations that you have from the current budget. That's expected, of course, a number of wishes and a number of hopes, but we'll take you through whether these expectations are realistic. To help us understand that, we join by Parin Mehta, partner BSR and company, who joins me in my Mumbai studio. Thanks, Parin, for joining us this evening on NDTV Profit. Pleasure to be here. Well, moving on from there, we'll take you through what the topic of discussion will be today. We'll be talking about in detail about excise rate and service tax, of course, that is in respect to dual levy for package software specifically. Let's go across and take our first caller. We're now joined by Rajesh Mehta. Hi, ma'am. Uh, my question is, is there any possibility of the excise rate being further lowered? Just to take you through the current structure of the excise rate, there is an exemption limit of 1.5 crores. The normal rate supply for clearance is beyond that exemption limit of 8%. Of course, that is the current structure, but expectation, like Rajesh pointed out, he does want to know whether that 8% will be lowered, because that is a bit of a far-fetched expectation. But we've got Parun to help us understand whether or not that's an expectation that could be justified. Parun, first talk to us about whether reducing that 8% is even a sl slight possibility at this budget time or what is your what is the expectation from this? Well, uh, traditionally, if you would see, the excise rates have been quite high and these have been progressively been reduced over the years. Uh, you, you might recollect that we had an excise rate reduced last year to 14% and after that we saw the economic slowdown where uh, uh, they had to in give the stimulus to the economy and under these uh, stimulus packages, we saw a right. reduction from 14 to 10 and again to 8. Right. So uh, as of now, we have already seen uh, two reductions. Of course, this has uh, uh, cost the exchequer uh, to the tune of approximately 30,000 crores. And therefore, the question obviously on everyone's mind is, will there be a further reduction? Is it going to be increased? Well, uh, very frankly, looking at the fiscal deficit, if uh, you would see that there is a very tremendous uh, uh, pressure or a tremendous temptation to increase it because you need to reduce the uh, revenue gap. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I believe that uh, 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 keeping it at 8% would uh, be quite uh, 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 support and a benefit to the existing industries, though we are very frankly hearing a lot of uh, uh, discussion on increasing these rates. Certainly increasing the excise rate would, uh, uh, would not be very helpful as of now to the manufacturing sector. But at the same time, as I said, the deficit is widening and that is where the government is going to look for uh, further areas of revenue. Uh, as we also understand, there is likely to be a lot of, uh, uh, lot of uh, public sector, sorry, lot of social sector schemes to be introduced and where is, where is this revenue going to come from? Right, so in your opinion, you're saying that of course that 8% getting reduced any further is a far-fetched possibility. Well, uh, uh, yes, certainly, it's a reduction is a far-fetched possibility. I would pray for a status quo that okay. it does not get, uh, is, is not increased. Though we have heard that there would be certain sectors who right. would be spared of uh, any increase, but there could be could see some uh, increase in some sectors, maybe cements, maybe steel, and so on and so what forth. What sectors, in your opinion, could actually be spared this time around from this uh, duty level? From what we hear, is probably going to be an auto and auto component sector, okay, uh, and also perhaps the small scale uh, sector where they want to perhaps uh, uh, give some stimulus and some support to the sector uh, for the time being. Right, just help me understand the sectors that would be spared. Do you see a duty reduction coming through or status quo being left on those spaces as well? Uh, I see uh, at best a uh, status quo, not status a Status quo at best for some sectors while others might actually see the excise rate being increased. 8% to what in your best would be your best guess? What are you hearing? Uh, it's anybody's guess, guess uh, 10%, 12%, but right. probably I feel at this stage uh, considering the state of uh, the economy, 10% uh, if you really want to increase it but not beyond that. Right. So, of course, there was Parant giving his views on whether or not that excise rate would be lowered from 8%. Seems like that it might actually be increased or at best left status quo for a few selective sectors like auto and auto components, while other space like cement might actually see that excise rate being increased from 8% to a possibility of 10%. But remember that, of course, it was reduced from 14% to 8% on back of those stimulus packages that were introduced all through of, through of last year coming in light of the way the global scenario has panned out and the impact of the global economy on the Indian sector, Indian economy.